learning. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Whether you're clapping your hands, whether you're stomping your feet, whether you're moving, whether you're dancing, come on, whether you're playing an instrument, whether you're just saying hallelujah, whether you're waving your hands, every praise. Come on, every praise. Come on, somebody say every praise. It's to our God. Hallelujah. Oh, help me say.
Verse 7, and some fell, some of the seed that he sowed, fell among thorns. Oh, that's that treacherous, that's that treacherous devil. Oh, he waiting on baby Christians. He'll come and try to tell you that what you believe in is wrong. He'll come and try to tell you they don't love you over there. He'll come and try to tell you, you don't make crazy. All this stuff you do, look at them people got you doing. What? You finna give what? What you gonna have left? That devil will come with some thorns okay. to stick you and scratch you and scrape you and cut you. Mm -hmm. And the thorns grew up and choked out the little plant. Mm -hmm. And it yielded no fruit. Other seed fell on good ground and it did yield. Fruit that sprang up and increased and brought forth some 30, some 60, some 100 fold. Mm -hmm. Verse 9, he said to them, he that have ears to hear, let him hear. It, it means he that has a heart that wants to know. Yeah. Just listen and he's going to explain it. And when he was alone with them, the twelve asked him about the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it's given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. God is not throwing puzzles out there at us. He's not the Riddler. It's given to you to know your father's kingdom. But unto them that are outside, all these things are done in parables. That seeing they may see it and not understand it. Hearing they'll hear it and they, they won't comprehend it. Unless any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. It's the fact that God wants you to want him. Yes. So people come for different reasons to church. I know women that went to churches because they were looking for a man. I know men that went to a church because they were looking for a woman. And they didn't see too many prospects so they left that church. Yeah. <laughs> but let me tell you. He said unto them in verse 14, the sower sowed the word. Mm -hmm. And so my concern tonight is that this word is being sown in order for you to get it. Yes. Amen. Amen. You got to know that you are not born of corruptible seed. Such silver, gold, and trifling things. You were born from the seed of the word. Someone spoke a word into your heart, into your soul, into your mind. Someone prayed for you and you didn't even know how to pray. Amen. That's the, the, the seed that saved you was a word. The word that saved you was Jesus. Amen. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And, and John said, we beheld his glory. They followed him on the seaside. Said, we beheld his glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace. Man, when he spoke, we got fullness of grace coming out of his mouth and truth. Romans 10 and 8, the word is nigh thee, as close to you as your mouth is on your face. As close to you as your heart is in your chest. Mm -hmm. It is the word of faith. Hallelujah, somebody. It's the word of faith. You go to Hebrews 11 and 1, and the Jesus to me version says, Now faith, the faith faithful word is the ingredient that you put in your prayer petition and your request in your confession of the things that you're hoping for. You don't have it but you're hoping for it and now faith, the faithful faith filled word brings forth the evidence that God will perform his word because he brings to pass what you didn't see. And we have so many things we're trying to grasp that we don't see. Amen. We have many things, you know, many things about too 
tomorrow I don't seem to Those who are kept, those who give consent, 
and say yes, Lord, to be kept mm -hmm. by the power of God through the demonstration and the manifestation of the faithful, faith-filled word who is Jesus, our Savior, the anointed one, the Messiah. Amen. Knowing God, you got to know who Jesus is. No man can come to the Father except by Jesus. Yes. Ephesians 1 and 17 says the eyes of our understanding being enlightened on a daily basis, being opened up so you can be certain and know the hope that his calling brings that you may receive the glorious riches that come from an inheritance that Peter says is undefiled and fadeth not away. Ooh, glory, glory, glory. That's, that's in verse 4 of 1 Peter 1. To an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, that fadeth not away, reserved, prepared, preserved. Hallelujah. Waiting on you. Yes. He, he's waiting on us. Jesus is his name. Hallelujah. If you have faith as a grain from us to see, you can say to your mouth, and a grain from us to see is so tiny that even if I held it in my finger, you wouldn't be able to see it. He said, you'll be able to say to the mountain, be removed, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Glory to God. When you go, we go back to Hebrews, the first chapter, and, and it talks about God who had sun dry times and in diverse manners spake in time past to the fathers by the prophets. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. It was, it was the, the, the prophets. There's, there's so many of them. Mm -hmm. Isaiah, yeah. Hosea. Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Elijah, Elisha, Samuel, who came as a child, Obadiah, Zephaniah, come on, if I go through the Old Testament, Malachi, Zechariah, Haggai, there are so many prophets that he spoke to, Nahum, Micah, Jonah, <laughs> He's in the list. Amos, Joel. Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus was a prophet. Mm -hmm. And some people miss the Savior because they got stuck on He's a prophet. Mm -hmm. Some people miss the saving grace because they got stuck on Oh, He's a good man. Mm -hmm. Some people missed it because Oh, that, that Mary and Joseph son. <laughs> Amen. And if that's all you see when you look at me is that I'm loving maids, child, you're going to miss something. Because, yeah. amen. amen, he said, the works that I do, greater works shall you do because I go to my Father. Yeah. Yeah. He spake in times past through the prophets, through the judges. Yeah. Amen. But have in these last days, come on, saints, Spoken unto us by his son, verse 2 says, whom he appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Yeah. Who being the brightness, we talk about Jesus, of God's glory and the express image mm -hmm. of God's personality, upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins and sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high being made so much better than the angels and somewhere else it says lower because mankind was considered lower He hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than the angels. Come on now. If you go over to Hebrews 8 and 6, it says, but now he hath obtained a more excellent ministry. 
by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant which was established upon better promises. You know how it was established on? The blood of Jesus. These promises were established by blood. Back in the Old Testament, they had to get themselves corrected and fixed through the blood of a lamb, through the lamb sacrifice, a dove sacrifice. And Jesus became, John the Baptist saw him and said, that the lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Oh, hallelujah. Just look how many different facets of him we have already covered when I said he said, I am the bread of life. Yes. And then he is the Lamb of God. Yes. And then he is the Word made flesh. Yes. Ooh, glory be to God. Yes. And then you keep going and you get to Hebrews 11 and 3. And it says, through faith, the faithful, faith-filled Word. We understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Yes. So that things which are seen were not made of things that we see. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So amen. If you are in doubt tonight, your power source is the name of Jesus, who is the word of God, who shed his blood. If you need a fixing, you know, you need a fix it, fixer upper. Get in the word of God and begin to, as I said last night, say something. Pray something. Confess something. Decree a thing and it shall be established. Because verse 6 of Hebrews 11 says, without faith, Yes. Without this word, it is impossible to please God. For we that come to God must believe, first of all, that he is God. And he is a rewarder of those of us that diligently seek him. Amen. Have you, amen, received any rewards from the Lord? The blessing, the blessings of the Lord make it rich. And he added no sorrow. Thank you. Glory. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I don't have but a few more minutes. So I'm going to give you some scriptures that magnify this word. Psalms 33 and 4 says, For the word of the Lord is right. Yeah. And all his works are done in truth. All the works that the word performs are done in truth. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Verse 6, By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. I just read that in Hebrews 11 and 3. Said that things were made of things that we didn't see. Yeah. By the word of the Lord. Right. Were the heavens made and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. Glory to God. Yeah. Psalms 68. Mm -hmm. And we find in 68 and 1, it says, let God arise. Let the word of God rise up above your problems. Let the word of God rise up above the sickness. Let the word of our shot rise up above your offendedness. Let the word of God rise up above the depression. Let the word of God rise up above every lie the devil is telling. Let the word of God rise up above every deception. Let the word of God rise up above every oppression. Let them also that hate him run from his presence. Yeah, yeah. But verse 3 says, but let the righteous be glad. Let us rejoice before God. Yay! Let us exceedingly rejoice. Sing unto God. Sing praises to his name. Yeah. 
extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. Verse 11 says, the Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it, that preached it, that prayed it, that confessed it, that witnessed with it, that uh, went and told somebody the good things God did for them. Great! You don't have to be behind a pulpit. I'm telling you, but the Lord is good. And his mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generations. With long life, he's going to use this word to satisfy us. And reveal to us his salvation. Come on, Psalms 103. I, I say it every night. But verse 2 says, Bless the Lord on my soul and don't forget all his benefits. Don't forget, don't forget that you call on him and he'll answer you. Yeah. Don't forget that he is a shelter in the time of storm. Yeah. Don't forget that he shall live in the valley. Yeah. Don't forget that he's the bright and morning star. Yeah. Don't forget he is a man, our God that provides. Yeah. Hey! and trust him. Hey, don't forget, hey, that he'll show mercy to whom he want to show mercy to. Don't forget that he's your help. Your shepherd and he shall not want. Forgives all our sins, heals all our diseases. Don't forget this, don't forget it, don't forget it. Redeems our life from destruction, don't forget it, don't forget it. Crimes are head with love and kindness of sin. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. Satisfies our mouth with good things, good confessions, good testimonies, good sayings, good thoughts. So that our youth is renewed like the eagle. Come on here. God want to renew us. I asked him to give me more mobility and flexibility. I said, so Lord, I need you to renew the muscles, tendons, ligaments, and joints. I need to renew that stuff, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I need to be able to move. I need to be able to get about. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the Bible says that he renews our youth as the eagle, but it comes with the satisfaction of a good words that he puts in our mouth to speak. Hallelujah. We've told these children, not just in children's church and youth church, that they're great. There's greatness in them. And God's going to use them and bring forth great things for them. And things that we suffer, the things we've been through, our children are going to, oh, oh, they've already overcome, amen, because they got new devils they're dealing with. And the same God that brought us out of everything that he brought us out of will bring our children out of everything that they go through. Same God. Jesus Christ the same. Woo! Yesterday, today, and forever. Me and Pastor Thomas used to sing a song that she wrote saying, Jesus Christ the same. He don't ever change cause. Oh, 
with long life he's going to satisfy us and show us his salvation. Elder Hammonds, will you dismiss us? Amen. We thank God for the word. Amen. If you see the notes that Bishop has up here, oh my goodness, she can go on for weeks. But that's how you know when you're filled up, right? When God is filling you up, it's time to pour out. So we thank you all for coming out. Um, I don't know if you have, if there's an opportunity for them to give online, but please. If there's an opportunity to sow a seed unto this ministry, we're going to be here tomorrow also. And we thank you all for coming. We appreciate you and your time. Uh, this has been a blessing. Um, and please come in and join us for tomorrow. We are here. God is here, first and foremost. And we thank God for his presence. Amen. Able before we cut that off, flash, flash that that uh, that sign to give, yes. and, and throw that up there, throw that thing up there, so that we can make sure people know what to do and how to bless this ministry. Amen. So, Father, we thank you, God, for everything that you have done. Father, we appreciate your presence. We appreciate, Father, God, the word that has come forth. Father, let it penetrate, God, into our hearts, our minds. Father, we thank you, God, Lord, it will come out, Father God, and touch people's hearts throughout this week, touch their minds and their spirits. Father, we thank you, God, for we are walking in the word. Father, we thank you for the seed, Father, even the seed that's coming in, Father God. We thank you for the seed that is being planted in this revival to the city of San Antonio, to the state of Texas, to the country of the United States, Father. Well, thank you for the seed that is being planted. And Father, allow the souls to wake up and catch hold to, to what you are doing, God. Father, we thank you, God. We give you glory, honor, and praise. Father, strengthen Bishop in the name of Jesus for the work that she is doing. Stand up all night to study the word. Father, we thank you, God. Lord, we thank you for those that have arrived here that have pressed their way, Father. Lord God, even restoring to them strength, Father, and anything that they may need. We thank you, God, for your presence. This is not just because, but Father, thank you for everybody that is tuned in, Father. Lord God, let their hearts be joined. And Father, we thank you, we love you, and God bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.